Hello, my name is Igor Posovets from 3DIO and while we are watching these in-game shots in the background, you can already guess that in this Flatiron tutorial we will discuss and explain the techniques of texture baking for video games. We have in the current 3D game production pipelines two almost completely different directions. On one side there are the powerful consoles like Xbox and PlayStation, equipped with strong computing and graphic processing units, which are able of calculating in real time things that you can hardly render in 3D Studio Max in some reasonable time. On the other side we experience a gigantic market of 3D browser games, Nintendo Wii, Nintendo DS developments, iPad, iPhone and even smaller mobile devices which desperately struggle with both CPU, memory and GPU power. In this video tutorial we will concentrate exactly on this growing market and on effective overcoming of those difficulties. What you can see in the viewport is a small fantasy arcade 3D level that is developed just for this kind of computers. It has some 100,000 faces, a bunch of interacting objects and a dozens of tiled textures. It looks at the moment very poor since there are neither lights nor shadows or speculars in it. If I turn them on and render the scene with full GI, shadows and other shaders, it starts looking like a really nice environment, just as we would like to have it later in the game. But how to get these nice textures in those small consoles or browser games with existing memory limitations? Or even a more important question, how to make from this scene only 3 or 4 textures that contain all colors, GI and shadow informations? For this purpose we have created Flatiron plugin, which will allow you to bake the complete scene with only few clicks into few bitmaps in less than 5 minutes. Let's start now. First thing is to divide the scene in few logical unities, for example to pack ground into one group, stones into another and so on. I will first isolate here the ground object with few additional small pebbles on it and create a selection set of it. Let's call it ground. I will freeze it now and move to the next group. I want all those plants, tiny grasses and surrounding objects and assets as a new stack group. I will call it nature. After freezing these objects too, I will isolate the large objects in the background, the tires, signs, electrical cables, etc. They will be called garbage. The last remaining objects are the big pipes in the background and they will be packed into the pipe stack group. What we will do now is very simple. We will engage the Flatiron plugin to render each of these four groups into a single bitmap texture. This way we will get our baked level with all effects and without any manual work. I will open now Flatiron from the utilities menu and as first I will set up the UV channel for the baked textures. It can be any number, save UV channel 1. UV channel 1 is already occupied with our current tiled textures. I will leave the rest of the settings by default. Texture size of 1024 is ok, this will mean that our 4 level textures will take approximately 8 to 10 MB of graphics memory, what is actually optimal for Nintendo Wii in this case. As next I will set up the selection sets that needs to be rendered. Basically those are the same 4 sets we have created a minute ago. Each of those 4 sets should be now undropped and packed into a single UV map. For this I will press the undrop button. After a few seconds Flatiron will pop up with a wireframe image of one of those sets, which means that the undropping process is over and all 4 object sets are now undropped and packed into 4 UV maps. Last thing we need to do now is to let Flatiron to create final texture maps. I will set here the output folder and file format. Please don't use JPEG or GIF for it. Best lossless format are still BMP, TIFF or Targa. We want texture maps to be baked with color, lights, shades and shadows and for this purpose I will select complete map. It will store all informations, yet you may choose anything else depending on what you want to bake. I want Flatiron to create for each of those four sets one unique material, best the standard max material, which is compatible to all 3D engine exporters. Furthermore, I want the bake maps to be stored into the few slots of the standard material, so I will set up these options too. These maps should be also self-illuminated and it should completely override the existing materials. 
This means all other slots will be deleted and we will get clean material with only one baked map into the view slot as a result. Shell switcher should be set to viewport in order to get prompt representation of baked maps in the viewport after the rendering is complete. Don't forget to select all your objects at the end and press finally the bake button. Flatiron will start now loading one selection set after another, rendering the final maps and saving them into the predefined folder. After a minute, the calculations are complete and we will be rewarded by a 3D level in the max viewport, completely rendered with all shaders, shadows and light illuminations. After a minute, the calculations are complete and we will be rewarded with a 3D level in the max viewport, completely rendered with all shaders, shadows and light illuminations. This 3D level consists now only of four texture maps and four materials and it looks exactly like the rendered image from the start of the tutorial. I will check the materials once again. I will pick the ground object and load it into the material editor. We see in the diffuse slot our final ground map placed correctly into the UV channel 2 and the rendered image with all details. If I now select and delete all lights from the scene and switch back to standard scanline max renderer, turn off shadows and press render, I will get a kind of a perfect illusion. A 3D scene with all shadows and illumination effects, but in real time. This is also how exactly the game level will look later in your 3D engine or your 3D game. Thank you for your attention and if you want to do your game production using the same fast and robust technique, please visit www.texturebaking.com, download the trial of Flatiron and test it yourself.